Hi, Michael here. Want to tell you real quick uh, some of the things that I know about Ozobots and how you can use them in your classroom. So let me flip my camera around and here we go. So the Ozobots kit uh, comes when you open it up. The charger cord is going to be over here. I've already got it plugged in and notice that uh, typically it sits flat, uh, but then the plug is right there. And you'll notice that it was glowing green. Uh, you want to make sure those are charged, obviously. It's not going to be much fun for the kids if you give them dead robots. The basic idea of Ozobots is the robot works on a line. So the kids will draw or fill in a pre-made design with various codes that the robot uses uh, for its commands to do certain things. So when we start, I'm just going to pull one out. This is one of our Ozobots. And notice right here is a switch that turns it on and it will glow different colors. The first thing we have to do is with this guidebook or uh, a copy, which I've got some copies already made, I'll show you here in a second, we need to calibrate. So with this black dot, we're going to set our robot on the dot and press and hold our little start button right here. And it's going to make some noises. And now the robot is ready to go. So you'll have to do that with each of the robots that you want your kids to use. So this one's already pre-filled out. I'm gonna set our Ozobot down on here. And we can see what it does with the various commands. So that's slow. I think this one's called Tornado. Then we've got a fast and a fast, I think another tornado. And so using a preset um, list of guides and codes, it will do various things. And then we get to the end, the uh, yellow, sorry, the green and red. Then it just stops. So here's a list of all the various things that it can do. Snail, slow, cruise, fast, turbo, nitro boost, spin, zigzag, tornado, uh, various things. Now, I created a folder uh, with a bunch of those sheets and the calibration codes for an activity that we were going to do right when I started here at Hazel Grove uh, at Thanksgiving. And then, of course, the pandemic reared its head again and we went into uh, virtual mode and I never got to do this. But the Ozobots are here, and you can certainly um, help kids have fun with this. Now, you can use preset ones like um, I created for the Thanksgiving activity, where lower grades, like say kindergartners, first graders, might need something that's already set, and all they have to do is then just color in. So you'll notice there are already markers in the box. It's very important with the markers that you fill in uh, thick lines, because if you don't have thick lines, the Ozobot won't know what to do. It'll just stop. So the advantage of the boxes is students can then just take their colored marker, figure out which one that they want it to do, and then just color in. So let's say green, green, and then they'll need a black right there in the middle to create the cruise version. And then that will read. Now, older students uh, might be able to just create their own. And one thing to keep in mind, and this is hard to do holding and drawing at the same time, is again, you have to have thick lines, but not too thick. And if you get too crazy in the middle, it won't know what to follow. So let's do an example. Let me set our Ozobot on here and see what it does. Turn it around. So it follows, turns to the right, and then kind of gets lost in there because it's a little too close. But then if I catch it, and I'm gonna set it back on that line. Uh oh, it went back. There we go. 
And probably when it gets up here, it's gonna stop because that line is too thin. Yep, so you can see where it, it just stops. But the fun thing is this gives students the creativity if they wanna draw various shapes and put in codes. So what I've done here, obviously, I draw the heart. Good to use black as the base color and then using various uh, codes, I put thing, something there, something there, and um, it's also important to pay attention to the way the codes stretch. So red, green, red, green should be a tornado coming this way, but going the opposite way, it won't work because it reads it red, green, red, green. So far, so good. That was a zigzag move. That's supposed to be a go faster move. And then notice it on its own went up and turned back around at the top of that heart. So lots of possibilities uh, that students can do all sorts of things just using the simple codes, some markers, either pre-made sheets uh, that you can download, just Google Ozobot activities, um, or just a blank piece of paper. And you've got lots of, uh, lots of fun. And then obviously once you're done, you want to uh, put your Ozobots, uh, just turn them off, hit that button once again, and we will plug them back into our uh, wheels. Oops, there we go, wheels down. It just snaps into place. Plug them back in and then you're ready to go for the next group.